shocking, huh? The devil music, bro. Is it? I I mean, if it ain't, I'd be shocked. Well, don't you know who Mephistopheles is? Yeah. But I know the ghost likes Sounds to put expensive. an upside cro- down cross on their stuff. And, you know. <laughs> well, now they're a bunch of fine young boys. <laughs> a, a, a very, a, I was shocked to read your message today that you are enjoying what you've heard. Yeah. The majority of what you've heard you've enjoyed. Imperia dropped last week. And I saw, who is it? Ghost? Oh, then go fuck themselves. I don't listen to Ghost. Right. And then they were on Jimmy Kimmel, apparently, the other night. Ruben let me know that and at I'll about 10.30 at night when oh. I was trying to fucking get some sleep for work. <laughs> Ru- Ruben don't give two fucks. Do you, you not turn your schedule phone off? Or else oh, I, I do, it. but that was the one time because oh, we had a friend or a co-worker, which I, you know, probably a friend, uh, lost a pet. Yes. Uh, and she is... Much like you, very, very connected Attached. to her fur babies. Yeah. So she's been having a tough time. So um, it was between all of those, and then my phone was just lighting up because I can't turn that off. I have to remember to flip it on its side. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. But I have this weird thing, and then we'll get, we'll get off the weird things I do and go back talking about ghosts. <laughs> I have to have my phone almost within touching distance of my body when I go to sleep. Wow. Aren't you Mr. Particular? I I, I can't talk shit. Mine is too. Mine so. is as well. Okay. I don't know. Okay. I think that's an everybody it is good thing. To be among friends. Yeah, no, mine is always either Who on are, the. You're a normie. Yeah. You're a normie. Yeah, all of us. I think <laughs> it's pretty normal. <laughs> it seems weird to me if, like, even if I was to leave it like at my desk, which is two strides from my bed. Yeah, it, it is. Bec- it would be weird. It, it is has weird. become that odd type of importance that I feel like, even though I don't have the ringer on mm-hmm. ever, even when no. I'm awake. Nope. So <laughs> it's not like if you need me and you're dying, you're probably going to fucking call die. Me. Don't I'm not call the person I, to call. I'm Sorry. not a good lifeline. If you get on millionaire, Though, don't I put me on the say, list. I will say, usually if someone needs me, I answer. Somehow I'm on my phone or it's yeah. flipped up and I see it light up. Hmm. Yep. So. so the fates provide. I think so. The fates will deny you if I'm involved. I have to, yep. I have to <laughs> mute mine for the, for the two dang friends, you know. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. We got a lot of them. <laughs> Mead Metal and MMA podcast where we get together, the three of us, and uh, all kinds of uh, shenanigans, hijinks, chicanery. It's as uh, pleasurable and joyful as a non consensual over the pants hand job. It's Ooh. good to be with you again. The most <laughs> oldest of old fashions. <laughs> can you can you have an un- a non consensual hand job? <laughs> Stay I, down. I'm rubbing you out. There, there's. <laughs> There's a there's a scene in Workaholics. It's funny you mention this. I don't know if anybody's familiar with this show. It was on Absolutely. Comedy Central. Okay. I love Workaholics. Absolutely. So you're probably familiar with the episode where Durs, they're like shopping for like camping gear and shit. Yes. And the lady that voices uh, Lois Griffin yes. on Family Guy just pops up and just starts giving him an over-the-pants <laughs> HJ. Wow. To completion. Oh, P H J. Mila Kunis, right? Uh, no, uh, uh, no, the no. Older, that's, she's she's the one that does the uh, older. Yeah, uh, uh, I can't remember her damn it. fucking I know name. I know who you're talking uh, about. God damn it! She was on Mad TV as well. Mm-hmm. She had that Swan character, right? But uh, yeah, just goes over there, and he doesn't know. He like <laughs> just asks when it's over. He's like, "Who are you?" <laughs> And she just walk, takes a picture of him and walks away. Best like, kind of hand job. Right in the middle, right in the middle of his vinegar stroke, she takes a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in hot which, today. Which, by the way, for the uninitiated, vinegar strokes is the face you make when uh, you're about to get work done. It also looks very similar to like smelling a jar of pickles. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that maybe that's what the reference is because I I go Leonard Nimoy and just raise an eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you're one of them weird people that are just I like just like. Yeah. Oh no, that's, I, you better make some fucking noises. I need to hear it from uh, you. I mean, give oh, me a nice. <laughs> like, oh God, it's over. Uh, just don't do the same thing when you're pooping. Hot, hot, yeah. hot, 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 hot. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, all right, we can wrap this up. All right, well, <laughs> I hope all of you have a good time. We'll see you in two weeks. Uh, the ghost, so the ghost thing, ghost thing, right? Forgot, yeah. Um, got it, got yeah on it's a job. band. I, I don't know why I, I don't know why I have such. Uh, I actually, I do know why. I confuse them with sleep. Okay, it's a single name band. 
they play music not even fucking similar, but it's that one name shit, you know. Yeah. I mean, they're both apparently heavily satanic now that I found that out. I don't know, man. Sleep is like that's the uh, the Pike band, the guy that's in High on Fire. Yeah, they're they're like a fucking sludge. Maybe, it, maybe it is Ghost that I'm thinking. Of, but I think so. I think it is. I think you're the well, two bands you're thinking of is one band. So and maybe I'm trying to <laughs> let them off the hook, and I shouldn't. But uh, but I'll keep you in check. No, Impura came out one week ago today. Actually, in a really good, really good record. The first half, it starts to wane into the second half. Okay. It uh, it becomes a lot less musically inspiring. And I'm not saying these cats are laying down great complex tunes. And let's go, let's go ahead and just say cat. Because this band is basically the Tobias Ford show. Well, he, that has is. Go, he, he has been sued for that very fact, and he won. Oh, so he's like the Agalock of... Uh, yeah, you know. only his band's still going. Agalock fucking got a knife right in the heart when yeah. they bet. So he's like, he's like Yari Menopaw then. Yes. Only does more work. He actually does shit. Oh, okay. People actually except, like him. Except just a podcast and like bragging about what's to come in the future. <sighs> Fuck that noise, man. Give me the vinegar strokes. That's right. <laughs> Take that home with you. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to go ahead and get this out of the way because it's something v- uh, very rare and very, I don't want to say powerful. I'm not about to talk about Jesus, by the way. So okay, I okay. Like, come on. I like, we, we, we don't know you a pagan. Like, please don't oh, yeah. do this to me, please. No, it, it appealed to my humanity. So I'm at work, and this elderly lady comes in, and she is probably, her gait's maybe about a foot and a half, two feet every step. Oh, no. So taking her time. Oh, okay. And uh, she comes in, hands me her med card, and she said, like, I need something for this pain. And the way she says it, and the way, like, her eyes look at me, I'm like, oh, my God, this poor old lady is in yeah. so much fucking discomfort. Jada, you really ought to look into heroin. No, and, no, 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 no. And be, being the guy that I am that, you know, takes care of a, an elderly individual that just so happens to be my grandmother, I, I find I want to help those people more at my job than anybody else. I do have preferential treatment towards older folks sure. because i feel like they're here for why this was even started to begin with right so we go in and everything i point out to her she is just like i've tried that it didn't work oh, I've tried gosh. this it didn't work Aww. and it progressively starts she starts losing hope i hear it in her voice and i'm like fuck no 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 we're gonna find something for you here's a syringe with a <laughs> entire ounce of weed in it. Yeah. Well, the, the, that's basically the thing. You know, she couldn't smoke it. She had a lung issue. And she's needing it for arthritis, basically from her neck down to her toes. Oh, gosh. And, she, and so I'm giving her all these options. I'm offering her CBD. Of course, making sure she's not on meds that have grapefruit avoidance in them because CBD will f- fucking fuck that up too. Oh, so if you see that's it, it says, no, yeah. I've always wondered about that. You can you smoke a, CBD, but you can't eat it if you're doing shit like that. So if you see a label that says cannot consume with grapefruit, then they're automatically conceding this person's probably also using medical marijuana. Right. But I mean, the thing is, she. God, now I'm talking about it's fucking. Get me into the feels of it again. So Thanks for bringing us down, bud. Huh? I know. No, no, it gets better. I promise. It, it's at the end of this. Everybody's gonna be like, "Oh my god, he's fucking human after all." Oh, okay. And so I don't believe you. I had. It, I know you would. But I got. I suggested this one to one tincture, just THC and CBD, and I explained to her for probably a good fifteen minutes why this thing is different from the things she has taken. And why it might provide her a little bit more of a benefit. About a minute before I'm done talking to her, she's like starting to, her eyes are like starting to well up. And she's like, that's fine. I'll take that. I was like, all right, I'll go get you squared away over here. And then she starts apologizing to me for not coming to the store sooner to get my help. Because every other dispensary she had ever been to in the state, they sell her shit and send her the fuck out. And it really made me angry. Yeah. It really did. Yeah. It's like the one fucking thing. This Lady, are you high right now? 
<laughs> and she, and she she used the word piss at, and that really made me feel good. I like piss. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> it's a good damn, word. I haven't heard it's that old one. Timey, old time. Yeah, oh, it's a good one though. But basically, long story short, she apologized for not going there sooner. Uh, thanked me for explaining everything to her in like very minute detail when it came to this tincture, and wrote my name down on the bag just so she could remember next time she comes in to talk to me. That's why you're level five certified. I guess so, man. But like, if I've never had a job that has that odd sense of fulfillment in it. Well, you worked at a hotel where people were trying to grow fucking illegal narcotics and shit right under your nose. No, they weren't trying to grow. They were just trying to clean it. Oh, oh, they were getting it ready. My bad. They were getting it ready for sale. Corrected. And and the funny thing is now I sell these people marijuana. The ones I kept an eye out for in my hospitality job, yeah. I'm now taking their money for weed. Yeah. And I mean all of them. Even the old guy that was cleaning fucking weed in his bathtub that <laughs> fun times. Yeah, right. Fun good times. good times. Yeah, I need to clean some weed. Let's go get a hotel room. I've never <laughs> I've never even thought of that before. <laughs> and one I bring my girlfriend and my baby. Yeah, I forgot about yeah. There that happened yeah. too. God, I missed that job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we actually we can go back and listen to some old podcasts, and I guarantee you do not. <laughs> oh, dude, well, I, I, I want to do I want to do that one day. Just like grab one from like 2017. Right. Actually, it maybe they they go to auto play for me over here. Like I'll throw on like blind melon, walk out of the room or whatever, and fucking walk back in. I was like, what the fuck? That that sounds like us. <laughs> Why do I hear me and, and that other guy in there? Yeah, it, it it was just it was it was it was a good feeling. It's not a feeling I'm used to, so that's mm-hmm. why it kind of hit me a little hard. Got and I had feels. to like, Got yeah, it, you did, yeah. Like for yeah. I had to go out my vehicle for five minutes, just kind of be by myself. Yeah, I feel right. that. I almost called my grandma and be like, "You did all right. Is there anything you need? I will run you a cheeseburger, lady." Exactly. <laughs> that's so sweet. What's up with you, Pocahontas? Um, school. I'm See, now a student, you not scoo- a teacher. I was gonna say, did, didn't we just have you on a couple months ago and you were a teacher? I know. <laughs> the ever evolving yes, life. And now the teacher is now the student. Exactly. As always. Is that happens. how it's supposed to go? <laughs> it, well, I feel like it's cyclical, right? It depends. I don't think um, that was the line from Talladega Nights, but close. <laughs> no. I believe it's you want to see what my life is. Now I'm we'll sh- see the dog dance in the moonlight or something. <laughs> what? <laughs> Man, it's been so long since I've seen that movie. I know. Not a bit. Um, yeah, I started prerequisites for the nursing program. Hell um, yeah. So even though I definitely don't need to retake AMP1 because I was teaching it at CCC. <laughs> That'd be a little because, weird. Because, uh, well, <laughs> I... I would like to audit this course. <laughs> no, I have to take it. I am no retaking shit. it. It is, unfortunately, it is a non-negotiable part of if your class is older than five years... Um, any of their, I guess, core classes. So yeah. AMP one, two, and micro, you have to retake you them. Fucking so I was, yeah, no, but I'm retaking them. It's fine. I'll make A's, which means I'll yeah. get into their program because their program is based solely on the scores in these uh, five. No, I would, I would have courses. challenged it. I'd be like, nope, I, I, I oh, asked. I said I was, te- you know, I was like. But then again, it is. Here, it's so. the nursing program is a thing that's like it's fucking literally legislated right yeah i think so i'm not 100 percent, but i didn't argue it i mean it's not it's honestly good for me to refresh my mother uh, who's a retired nurse back when she was uh, walking this green earth of ours but uh, mm-hmm. she uh got paid more with less requisites in texas than new mexico the requisites in new mexico and this is a long long time ago right yeah we're fucking through the roof and they didn't pay shit yeah it's not wow. surprising. so she worked so she worked in el paso yeah, lived yeah. in rodoso yeah smart yeah. damn for a couple of years there at the toward the end of before she retired but yeah that's awesome. bad yeah i bought a motor home with a 440 magnum in it which is what i would put into a goddamn charger if i was going down to the drag strip on a saturday <laughs> i'm trying to get to my vacation destination in a hurry <laughs> uh, is one of those old school big ass motor homes that weighed a lot so you know had to have something in, under the hood but goddamn could you imagine having to pay for gas or one of those fucking things right now shout out to all my homies with rvs uh, <laughs> oh god yikes I saw a video online of a Semi truck driver filling up his tank, and those tanks are like two hundred, two fifty, yeah. two fifty. Wow, that's insane! It was like two grand, something like that. Yeah. Holy yeah. crap! And this guy's like, motherfucker, this is why your milk's expensive. Yeah, it ain't because cows are dying. It's because <laughs> yeah. the gas is expensive. Well, and is it? 
you know, I mean, as it turns out, and I hate this when people are like, man, look at this, and like, and they try to, <laughs> they try to put a political parallel in there, sure, because like, man, Trump was cheap gas, man. It was also a fucking pandemic, and nobody was fucking driving. Yeah, where and there we was going? an oversupply of oil and gas. Yeah, they were they were having to pay people to haul fucking oil out of there from uh, Cushing, Oklahoma. Back, what was that, in August or September or something oh, wow. like that? They had to pay people to take it out of there because they couldn't sell it on the open oh. market. Jeez. We should have went down there and bought some oil. Well, mm. A haul. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> but that's but that's just it. Now oil's what, 105 bucks a barrel as of today, I think. But damn. Wee. You know, but that's that's the whack ass stuff. But it's like, but keep that in perspective. It it wasn't cheap because any fucking thing that Trump was doing, it was the thing that he hated most, which was the pandemic. Yeah. The pandemic came along the, the and made everybody's it. gasoline cheap. Now the pandemic is basically over, you know, well, in this country, mm. in this country. I know, I know, I know. But, uh, but you know, we'll, we'll just pretend like it's, <laughs> uh, it's a thing of the past and everything else. Well, now everybody's wanting to drive. And an administration that was really, really had a very um, – Wow, a very uh, aggressive green energy plan, shall we say, that was doomed to fail no matter what the fuck happened, even if it wasn't for Russia turning into the old assholes that we knew that they were. Yeah. And uh, so shutting down all the shale lands and, you know, cutting off federal oil permits and everything else and all this other shit. Now that now we're grasping at straws trying to figure out a way for cheap gas. There is, by the way, no quick fix. Three months probably at the tops to find some relief. Hmm. Well, we got that going for us. Although we are, uh, I guess, trying to suck the dick of Venezuela now, which is really, really ironic. I think it's really gross. <laughs> Let's get in the it's pants of Venezuela. It's very interesting how we inst- like, didn't invest in non-oil-based infrastructure. Well, and see, now that's the thing, because gas got really expensive under Obama, and he started under a lot of electric vehicle initiatives and shit yeah. like that. Trump gets in, well, he... He knew which side his bread was buttered on. That's fucking ah, big oil, well. you know. So that's fine. So all the all the electric car shit goes by the wayside. Um, and he didn't support the uh, biofuels and ethanol industry. Jeez. Now, fast forward to the current president, who, by the way, also does not support the green the biofuel industry. That. He wants to go straight to electric, and it's like, God damn it! Yep. Mm. I think there is a place that's, for That's like fuels. kissing a woman on the front stoop of her house and then asking for marriage. And she's like, yeah, but we hadn't, you know, we hadn't tried to try to test drive this beast yet. I ain't seen your dong yet. That's right. Yeah, we have some things to assess, sir. I feel like everybody should just meet naked right off the bat if there's, and then, because I feel like a lot of questions will be no, answered at that point. No, because I have to make sure there's even chemistry first. You don't necessarily yeah. need to see like, me right. naked if there's no chemistry. You don't get to look at that ham wallet without some yeah, fucking chemistry. Thanks. Thanks, Kev. Precisely. <laughs> this ham wallet is mine. God damn it. <laughs> see, you people got into more than you fucking bargained for today, I'm sure. <laughs> we have from hand jobs to hand wallet. Wait, no, not ham jobs. Hand jobs. <laughs> Ham, ham job sounds fucking dirty. <laughs> it does. Dirty, dirty, dirty. I mean, I'm like a ham job. I'm sure is. the act of it is probably like you know, probably a lot of fun, but just got to be like a like a like a really fat lady, like the one off of like Here Comes Honey Boo Boo's Mother, you know, like like those that like look like little little, little <laughs> fucking like little sausages for fingers. I almost feel like I should fucking stop recording now because of what we're saying. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, you, 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 by the way, might want to definitely check this one for uh, for a fucking explicit material. Oh, oh yeah. No, don't worry. I already got that checkbox about uh, not for kids. I, I do that even when I'm just doing instrumental stuff. I don't want children watching me, watching me work. Hell no. What are they going to get out of it? <laughs> yeah, it's a bit bizarre, isn't it? It ain't Uncle Kev's Playhouse. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off, kids. I'm trying to jam. Get off my lawn. Got a joint in my mouth. Come on now. Uh, so, uh, shit. All right, so we know how your week was, which was quite touching and uh, has all the trappings of a lifetime yeah. you know, movie. Yeah, it was pretty Hallmark. good. Hallmark, maybe. Yeah, yeah, Hallmark Christmas movie, man. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. I, I, I'd rather go for like a Saturday morning special. Okay, fair enough, gotcha. fair enough. So what's the homework like then, working your way back into school? So I actually also have to take a developmental psychology class I just never took. That's in layman's terms. That's child psychology. Well, it's d- it's developmental, so it's actually from birth to death. 
So it covers the whole gamut of a human life. We fucking evolve after the age of 18? Get the fuck know. out of Isn't here. Isn't it wild? It's pretty cool, though. So um, honestly, I chose adolescent psych over developmental. It's okay, but it's just it's tedious. There's a lot of paperwork. That's God, just, yeah, because yeah. there's going to be a big, long-range, like, like boring stretch from, like, 20 to 50, right? <laughs> I don't know. I'm in that stretch, and I don't think it's that boring. Yeah. It gets better near the end. I don't know. I'm digging it now. that stretch. Yeah, but you're time. you're you're doing good stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. Quit, quit bragging about. Oh, it. okay. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking so, about people that have crawled out of the ashes. That's right. Oh, well. that's Actually, right. No, that's probably true for all of us as well. <laughs> Fuck. What am I saying? <laughs> you, you assholes know we're going to go see Deftones here in like five weeks, right? I cannot wait. God, uh, yeah, shit. Getting close. Ooh. I, it's my be, first concert in a long time. I can't even remember for, the last for us, time I went to a October live music. 2019. Yeah, for yeah. you. Oh, for me. Sorry. Oh, that's right. This <laughs> asshole's just yeah, a one a couple weeks ago. A couple weeks ago. Like, 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 like a month and a half. I'm here to get work done. A month and a half. Well, a month, almost two months. No. <laughs> end of February to nearly end of April. Almost two birds. Can I remind you we're only like two weeks into March? Are we? It's the See, kids, 18th. this is wh- this is why you don't want to ag- accept THC as your Lord and Savior. <laughs> mm, or maybe it is. Oh, it is precisely the reason. Or maybe maybe it is. I only know reason. one person has seen a concert more recently than you, then. Who? Ruben Gonzalez. Oh, oh <laughs> that, man, that shit don't count. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> God damn, I go to a concert in my backyard. Does that count? <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I sounded really fucking uh, mean oh, right there. God damn. I, I was like, really oh, does my live music and enchantment count then? Because then I've been to a concert. <laughs> that is a man threatened right there. Ruben, if you're listening, <laughs> I hope you had a great time at your little little concert you went to. <laughs> uh, shit. Now, here's one coming up in September. Uh, Iron Maiden is going to be in. Yeah, you had mentioned that um, on a Saturday. Yeah, they're going to be in Denver on a Saturday. They're in El Paso, but that's on a Tuesday. I'm shocked they're not in Albuquerque. Actually, I take it back. They're in Austin on a Tuesday. But they're in El Paso like on a weekday, and it's just not going to fucking work. Right. But, um, but yeah, Denver on a Saturday? Mm, hey, okay. What's that, like the uh, Pepsi Center or something? Uh, the Ball Center. Oh. Where you go ball people, right? Oh, right. <laughs> Ball's a deep center. Actually, ball canning is like their big fucking industry, like one of the big industries Oh, the in jar Denver. people. Yeah. Oh! Okay. All right. Yeah. So the ball. I get it. Nope. They still should have really thought about the optics. Yeah. Yeah. Back in the 1800s when they came up with the, the goddamn name. Come on um, now. Well, I mean, you they can didn't always the, do a revamp. They didn't have the repertoire we got today. Now just a po- you know put an apostrophe s balls. That's right. I got a lot of balls. <laughs> Come check out our load of balls. Here. <laughs> we are lousy with balls. <laughs> Oh my <laughs> I feel like we actually step over the line every time that you know, now ever we, since Krista joined this is a permanent <laughs> she ought, it's her, it might be her fault it's actually my fault it's totally my energy I, I do this know. shit on purpose uh, it really is me no I'm 100% I, f- I feel I feel like I can approach like a lot of weird sexual issues you know and stuff like that and bugaboos and whatnot when you're on with it you know when you're here because <laughs> sure. if it's just me and Brandon well that sounds a little fucking well, weird yeah, right <laughs> because of a perception thing sure now it sounds more like we're doing research on each other's weird picadillos. That's it, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> you know, like weird genitals and how they look and shit. Because let's, <laughs> let's face facts. Nobody's genitals look I don't know, good, man. Right? I told the story about me making porn on the internet on here many moons ago. I know, but we don't How about go that? You got depth. porn on the internet? Yes. Oh, shit. Did, did you, that people, I do now. That, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I will ask a follow-up question. Okay. Do you have porn on the internet that people had to pay for to see? Yes. I'm, I'm, I think I'm starting to track. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, mine were just videos from like 15 years ago. But I, I'm, I think I'm starting to, yeah, okay. All right. All right. Mine are, up I can on, appreciate that. mine are up on YouTube shorts. You know, it's like, what do I got? A minute? A minute? No problem. No problem. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. No, no, no. You know, YouTube we had, wouldn't allow that shit. You know, we, we actually had a... Uh, terms of service. That's right. TOS got observed. Observed. I said it's not for kids. <laughs> it's the same as my guitar playing, really, if you think about it. <laughs> Just a uh, skin flu, He's right? just noodling around. 
<laughs> does uh does put a whole lot more weight on that term noodling, doesn't it? <laughs> Certainly ain't getting bit by catfish, uh, that's for sure. <laughs> We ought to actually sincerely take a break and then come back and be like completely fucking like, so that was a thing. <laughs> all right, well, I'll tell you what. We'll be back with you beautiful bitches in about, well, it'll seem like no time at all to you with a uh, meet update. Good Lord. Here's to good friends. Tonight is kind of special. Hey, where's Bob? I thought he was with you. Oh, You're kidding. He's not down yet. Hey, you something happen? Let's start looking. Hey, come on along, bro. When you want the taste of a truly great American beer, tonight, let it be low and brown. Hey, you know, for a minute there, you really had us worried. I know. And thanks. All right. A, a, a well needed uh, intermission. Yeah, Almost we got that intervention, which is actually what we actually need. <laughs> did we inter- intervene on each other? Yeah, yes. We just reloaded our liquor is what we did. <laughs> uh, you know. So, yeah, there's a nice little, nice little break of about uh, 15 minutes or 10 minutes or something. That's good. good. That, you know, one, one of the reasons why I miss LJ segments. Got a little break in. Right. Got a little break in to get another beer, get, so, a little, get a little dope in the lungs. Rock a piss, as you say. Yeah. <laughs> Throw a piss. We like to use the right language here. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you acceptable know. by the Victorian standards. And, and, you know, we are classy. We are. Or classic. Too. I can't remember which. <laughs> Get it fucking straight, huh? We're, we're, either, we're either a Rolls Royce or we're like a fucking shitty car from the late 70s that people still <laughs> love and admire, like the, like the Pinto. There was one today I stumbled across on uh, the founding. Today was like the founding date of uh, Wells Fargo. It was a guy with the last name of Fargo. It could have been Fargo Wells. Can you imagine that? That would be fucking hilarious. (laughs) Weird, right? A little odd. A little fucking odd. Going down to Fargo Wells, get me some money. Sound like you're going to do the South Park song. And you know who does a really interesting South Park-esque voice that's not ever been on South Park. Bill Burr. Really? Yeah, he's. I'm, 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 I'm so pared down on my podcast now. It's like all either Dan Carlin, this uh, Canadian cat that hadn't done one in a little bit, and he won't either because he's got a new child, uh, with Our Fake History and Bill Burr. That's it. That's it. Wow. I, and, I think uh, I'm rocking Trailer Park Boys and the It's Always Sunny podcast. Oh shit! All That's right. it. Krista, you rocking any podcast no, at all? You do. You do books on audio. audio I books, do audio books. Yeah, I'm a kind of weird, like stuck in my ways. My sister does a lot of podcasts. I just don't get right. into it. She'll send me some occasionally. I and I'll it. Still, watch it, still jamming some Jim Dale. Some Harry Potter, the the one the um, one sitting no, here on a not, podcast. <laughs> I I try I, Harry Potter breaks my heart because I love Harry Potter to pieces, but J.K. Rowling is problematic. So ah oh, taking that extra step. Well, yeah, she's a yeah. turf, so I can't support that. Right. Not not as someone who says that they're a member of the LGBTQ community. I can't ignore the T. It's, it's, so. they, added le- they added letters uh, in recent years. Uh, IA, yeah. Um, I think A stands for asexual, like the A-spectrum. There's an asexual spectrum. Oh, the spectrum. ones that just don't yeah, give a fuck? Yeah, we could, we could get it. Like, that gets <laughs> what really are complicated. You? Fucking human. Um, <laughs> I'm just and, happy to be here, shit. <laughs> and then the I, I think... Questioning is Q is questioning. I don't know what. Well, that, that used to be for. queer, though. In- it can also be queer okay. now. Yeah, I think um, because that's been like reclaimed. They get they get, they got it back. They, they brought took, it they back. They took it back. They, they took, took their word back. back. Hell yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know because where I don't know where the non-binary folks enter into that. I don't know what the I stands for. I'll have to look. I don't know all my letters. I, I'm not very good. I'm an old timey. I came in the into the system back in like the 2000s. So, you know, sorry. I, that was back when there was only like three letters. In, uh, <laughs> in, interns? No. Yeah, I don't know. Incestual. I'll, I'll go look it up and I'll know for next Incestuous. week. Incestuous. Incestuous. Only if you're in the no, deep south, though. Not only if you're in the deep that. south. That's right. That that's, is that's incorrect. the only way you're included. That, in in fucking Georgia well, in Alabama. It is prom season in Georgia. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Boy, that humidity's rising. Ugh. <laughs> fucking now you guys have grossed me out, too. <laughs> nice. Well, this is a mutual gross out society. We did it. 
Um, so the meat update for oh, the yeah, meat. Oh, yeah, right. I forgot about we, that. Uh, we repitched on the yeast because after my big explosion here in the kitchen, I think we talked about last yes. time. Mm-hmm. Yes, we did. Uh, I was getting really no activity on that. And while I'm used to that in my dates, I'm not used to that <laughs> on a patch of meat. Whoops. <laughs> hey, <Hey-oo. laughs> uh, I'm trying to bring it back. I'm trying to bring it back. Hey-oo. You know, the energy we had earlier. <laughs> oh, it's it's gone. Oh, is it gone? Oh, okay. No, but uh, so we uh, so we did. We repitched and uh, and and it immediately started, you know, firing right away. So I knew the nutrient count was good enough. You know, okay. um, there's no such thing as too much nutrient. Although you can make a lot of sludge in the bottom of your fucking batch that sure. you don't really require. But right. Require a little more cleanup. Yeah. Yeah. Um, other than that, we have committed ourselves to doing another batch here pretty soon as a matter of fact the one we re-pitched on two weeks from right now so right around after april 1st no fooling we're going to move that shit to a carboy and uh let it do its secondary and then we're going to have a probably a reasonably good batch of meat ready to go in may now is that going to be the one that's going in the barrel that's the question right I think question. it needs to be the one that goes in the barrel. Probably. The barrel I'm been... thinking about doing that with the coffee batch anyway. Yeah, I, I'm I'm fine with that, too. Okay. Yeah, shit. Because uh, I know from the last pour, which has been a while because I've kind of been wanting to keep people away from it because like, at a level where I feel like it needs... And that's how this place makes its money. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, Goddamn, <laughs> if it's empty we, and we don't got nothing in it, we might fucking get some leaky leaks, right? <laughs> That is a prop. Well, yeah. that's a risk you run. But no, well, if it gets low like that, what you do is you just go ahead and fill that barrel. Yeah. And just let it sit because it'll it'll keep all of those uh um all of those particular slats, it's not the right name for it, but it'll keep all of them uh, nice and hydrated and and expanded and it'll be able to hold a pretty good load. Nice. Who? Like an like an Amish lady. <laughs> that's right. I so I, I, I know I went I went load different in <laughs> Avenue with load. Um, I went Metallica. See you perverts. You perverts. You load and reload I people. Lo- yeah, that's right. I I am a pervert. You are correct. Eh, good for you. See, I resemble that remark. You're a, you're a hero. <laughs> <laughs> Metal. Okay. You're a hero. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. We're gonna get you a medal in two yeah, weeks. We're it. gonna crown you a hero <laughs> for being weird. <laughs> <laughs> that does sound like some nonsense we would do, right? It uh, yeah, does. We, I, it we really have does. Con- we've contemplated buying a championship belt for this house. Yeah, that's true. That would be actively. I might go back to that because I was going to do a bunch of drinking shirts, and then I found Ooh, out like belt. there's a, uh, an organization I don't want to buy these fucking particular drinking shirts from. Yeah. So thank you, uh, uh, thanks credit card company. Yeah, thanks, thank you. Thanks fucking National Visa. On credit, that. credit your your house. Yeah, it was like like my fucking phone number to go. Boop, oh, you don't want to do that. <laughs> oh, well, apparently not. You don't want to go down that road. Yeah, and I mean, and, and really, and all I did it and it asked if I was willing to confirm that transaction. Like no, <laughs> and immediately then the site that had been sitting there just waiting. All of a sudden, I'll be like, card declined. Like, yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, China. That's so awesome. I mean, it's not awesome that it happened. But no, no. You know but, what I mean? But you know, we might, we might have to go uh, heavyweight belt round here. Is having a champion of the meat hall. Yeah. Yes, but how do we determine um, this? I've seen is... aerials. Aerials. Well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Is it like you a five-second uh, routine? Like some uh, like hoop, hoop work, right? Oh, yeah? You want me to bring the rig over? Hey, <laughs> now, I got, baby out? now I got a hula hoop. I'll tear that shit. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to see the look of concern on Brandon's face. Like, oh, fuck me. I'm locked out then. <laughs> like, isn't beer pong good enough, guys? Yeah, Come I was on, like, shit. I thought it was a series of games. <laughs> we Yeah, no, we we would do some things that are pre-chosen for title defenses and things, and mostly brain shit you know that yeah, brain jo- or it could be it could be just games of skill sure like a uh uh well not a round of monopoly that could game take no, gosh, that could take chance. that could take hours and ruin yeah, a friendship no no, no we never hang out long enough to finish a game of monopoly no. so. i don't know if i came out here and we started you and i we'd probably be two done. players you go fast it's when you enter, incorporate three is it that, because is then that you got to worry launched? about is like, are those other two fucking me, or yeah. uh, <laughs> or, or, or am I trying to team up and fuck somebody else? Uh-huh. You know, dun, dun, dun. I, I like I like just one on one. It's like the normal you know, PVP. 
like the normal tribe trihorn you know if i ever become champion of the meat hall i'm going to defend my belt every time by playing rock band uh no no actually everybody else has to choose because yeah, that, that, that that's keeps not fair. Chooses? Of course, that's booty. It is it incorrect. Is. So point you be, don't get to choose. What's the point the of being the champion? Because you'd, you'd lock it up. Incorrect. I, I, okay. Or, or uh, I would go. Well, if okay. I ever, if I ever get it, then uh, then you have to be able to beat me in like a crossroads style guitar solo playoff. And that's fucked up because I'm gonna fucking rock all you assholes. Okay, I'll clarify. Yeah, I don't play the guitar, so yeah, yeah. that's correct. So here Good we go. Good job, Kevin. <laughs> See, Great I job at being I don't the champion. Guitar heroes. <laughs> So here's what we'll do. I don't either. No, I'm in the same boat either way. You can't repeat the same challenge twice. Uh, That could become no because you're going to find a bunch of all scale of honoriness that you have. Oh come on! (laughs) I would be an honorable champion. You bunch of jerks. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. I I actually, I, I think this. I think this. I think that. Okay, if if you're going to do some shit like that, that's okay. But the next one, the second one, gets picked by everybody else. Not you. I, I think we should just put task in a hat, pick it random. Which I think uh, I think that's best. Which I think well. then it goes like we go full rando and go fucking uh, like Yahtzee or uh, yeah or fucking uh, what's the other fun one? Um, I don't know, like connect. On that being the elite, they oh, did blackjack. Nice. Maybe Uno. Yeah, some Uno. No, we want to keep four skip, bitch. We want to keep <laughs> friendships. Oh, I like there's Uno. that. That's why we don't play Monopoly. I, l- I love Uno. I I or hate risk. playing people. I have Clue. Uno. I don't know. Clue's kind of Clue's fun. okay. See, because Monopoly, you, you learn to hate your friends. Life is a fun game because it starts and ends at a point. It's it's a linear game. I've never. I don't know if I've ever played Life from start to finish. <laughs> it, it, what we should do for the inaugural. Whenever we do get this belt, is play cards against humanity. Yeah. That seems to be, but we, but we need to buy a bunch of expansions. Just that to, is true. Just, We're still just rocking fucking, first edition. Just to <laughs> muck up the waters. I wonder how many editions they fucking have out now. Several, so many, so many. Oh, well, we'll check out the expansions. But I think yeah, that, we're not doing any nerdy singular shit like Star Wars. We're not doing that. That's true. No, we got We got to keep it diverse. Indeed. I mean, now if you're life. if you're like hanging out with your friend, base I have a Harry Potter all, one, and I see? can bring that. But I mean, but that's the <laughs> yeah. thing. You and Brandon would be great Harry with Potter. that. We'd be laughing our asses off. He'd be Everyone else would be like, bloop. <laughs> oh shit, we were on the metal segment, weren't we? Sorry. Yeah, what uh, what all do we have going on? In the uh, I happen to have a list of shit from the week happen. Shit from the week happen. The week. That's going to be the I, name I thought of you were going to say weekend. It's like the guy that did the Super Bowl a couple of years ago. <laughs> uh, you remember that Dolly Parton got fucking <laughs> on the ballot for the Rock Hall, right? Yeah, and she told them all to go suck a cock. She did indeed. Yeah. Well, the well, Rock... Not, not in so many words, by the way. Well, here's an update. The Rock Hall is basically like, no, but you're on the ballot, bitch. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> they refuse to remove her. Isn't that awful? Isn't that weird? It's fucking weird. I don't weird. like it. It makes me really uncomfortable, honestly. The like, one on the ballot's like, I don't want It makes me be- really uncomfortable. That's like a non-consensual over-the-pants hand job. It is. Exactly. And then you get your picture taken during the vinegar shirt. But sometimes you like it, so it's not non-consensual. But in yeah. this case, she said point blank she doesn't want it. This so feels very non-consensual. I don't like it. it. Yeah, it makes me very uncomfortable. And the reason she doesn't want it is because... She's, she's never a done a rock roll. album. No. She's never done a rock album. Although the fucking great thing is she's like, yeah, I'm still thinking about doing one. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Like so then, th- this yeah. in, like fucking invigorated her to like, That's maybe I, I should heard. do a rock and roll album. Yeah. Sure. Which is cool. Fucking, uh, what was that? What was that dickweed's name way, way back when? He was like, it was a guy who did nothing but gospel music and then he decided to become uh, a heavy metal artist. Um, Christopher Lee. Pat Boone. Oh, Pat Boone! Oh. I remember the le- the uh, really too tight leather vest that guy would always yeah. wear. Yeah, that he, had like his nips hanging out. He's yeah. doing a whole bunch of whole bunch of nice Jesus music, and then bam, metal artist, leather, Judas Priest. Hell, yeah. I, I think, and he, tri- he was like seventy. I, I think so he tried to see- take that. William Shatner oh heat, you know, William Shatner doing his shit. Yeah. I think he tried to take that and try to turn it into his own thing. <laughs> and then know. Christopher Lee went and just did it right. Me. Yeah, you know, he did. Christopher yeah. Lee. Like That's right. Christmas black metal music. Yeah. <laughs> so not just Saruman and Lord of the Rings, but also. Oh, <laughs> 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 that kind of shit. When you got Saruman and Dracula singing to you at the same time, pretty much, it's, it's a it. good time. Ooh. 
That's the good times. Uh, let's see what else we got here. <laughs> Paul this Stanley. Whiskey, huh? This is a little whiskey. Paul Stanley I don't has. Know why a, I call my dog a cunt, but <laughs> 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 Paul Stanley has a list of his twelve favorite or best vocalists of all time. Okay. Um. Well, I'm just gonna go or eleven. Sorry, the fucking list says twelve. It goes to one. eleven. This one only does. And at the bottom, starting up, Ann Wilson from Heart. Yep. Brian Johnson from ACDC. Okay. Oh, it's a tie between Brian Johnson and Lou Graham from Foreigner. Okay. Uh, How can you have a tie in your own fucking list? That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Because because you because you wanted make it a list of twelve then. I guess. Uh number nine, Brad Delp from Boston. Yep. Number eight, Steve Perry from Journey. I, I agree with that. I think Steve Perry is a hell of a singer. Man, yeah. This is all rock singers. This yeah? is from the perspective of Paul Stanley. Man, if I was putting together like an eighties rock band, no, the Steve best, Perry this, would be in this the top is five. the best lead singers of all time. Period. No genre indicated, just okay. lead all right, singers. All right, all right. Uh, let's see. Number seven, Janis Joplin. No. Not a, I mean, not a very iconic no, well, voice, no, but it's, not. It's, it's, it's a folksy pick. It's like, oh, yeah, she's dead and gone, so let's honor her by putting her on this. No, she's a whiskey-drenched fucking, I mean, come on, man. She died at 27 like all the 27-year-olds did in the 60s. Yeah. No, no, absolutely. It just like her fucking career was vibrant and short. God damn it. If Kurt Cobain is on this list, I'm going to be pissed off. Uh, number six, Paul Rogers from Bad Company. Yeah. Number five, Rod Stewart. That's a good pick. Number four, David Ruffin from The Temptations. <laughs> okay, well, wow, okay. Number three, Freddie Mercury. Yeah. From uh, that one band. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, that that one great. band. Uh, Steve Marriott, number two, from Humble Pie. Wow. That's a kind of a... So this is a cat that was like fucking like like late 60s that put this list together. Yeah. And uh, number one in his eyes... And this is Paul Stanley. Paul Stanley. He's going to say Gene Simmons. Ooh. Eh, Yeah, don't ask me. I have no idea. (laughs) Don't ask me. No, no, he's not going to be that guy. He actually picked someone. Oh, okay. Um... Wow, not Lou, no. No, no, no. no. <laughs> if you said Lou Reed, I'm like, what? <laughs> that dude, he can't sing. No. Who would uh, who would Paul Stanley fucking pick? But it's going to be somebody that they didn't compete with, though, either. Man. That's fair. Okay, I'm going to go Chris Cornell. Robert Plant. Oh. Hmm. That's solid, though. But it's, it is. But oh, it is now yeah. weird to me that Chris Cornell went in the top 11. Yeah, how not? Although uh, he also... Uh, he just fucking named people he liked. Among them, Otis Redding, fucking Tony Bennett, Joni oh. Mitchell, Gladys Knight, Luther he go, Vandross. He go fuck himself. That's according to Lemmy. <laughs> That's right. Lemmy's list is way shorter. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's non-existent. I fucking who wins, in a, who wins in a fight, Lemmy or God? Uh, Lemmy, wrong. God, wrong. It's a trick question. Lemmy is God. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. <laughs> Steve Buscemi. <laughs> Uh, and I'll I'll close it out with this on the metal side. Tool, via, of course, the fucking Internet. figurehead of every every time there is a statement about any tool advancement, more times than not, Danny Carey giving it to you. Because the problem is this, is that Maynard will tell you, it ain't his band. He's one-fourth of a band. And everybody goes after Maynard because he's the fucking he's the, he's the most visible guy. Well, fuck you. He's now he's now backstage almost uh-huh. basically yeah. doing the shit. Adam is the fucking Adam Jones is the fuck. He, he is tool and a guy you rarely hear from. He's the guy that controls everything but refuses to deal with anything. So that's right. why you always get Justin and Danny for all the VIP shit for fucking all the statements, all of this, all of that. I would love Some to people just don't ha- want to just deal with the bullshit. I guess, but man, there's a point though that really, if especially if you're a metal act or or a hard rock act, you're not dealing with the media that fucking Britney Spears is dealing with on yeah. a daily, you know. Yeah, I don't know. I try to I try to be understanding. I'm not really sure. I feel like it 
people can still be quite invasive. Tool is huge. Sure. They've been I feel, I feel for like a long if, time. if Adam has to deal with tool shit more than twice a day, then he just goes and calls it a day <laughs> and he'll approach it the next day. And that's why it took 13 years to get a record so, out of yeah. it. <laughs> so Danny Carey has said that they have some leftovers from Fear Inoculum okay. that really they th- could be on a new album. Um, and he has said, like, it shouldn't take, of course, the famous last words, it shouldn't take as long as the last one. <laughs> so Fear Inoculum was the last one. All right, gotcha, gotcha. Thanks, oh, Danny. Shit. Fear Inoculum is shit, a year and a half old, right? No, it's older than that, dude. It is coming yeah. up on three years. Oh, 2019. Yeah. 2019. Yeah, it, oh, God. Didn't we go, yeah. go to that yeah, we, concert before we, COVID? we saw, like, yep. the eighth tour of that, eighth yeah. show of that tour. Ugh, God, man, I can't believe it. San uh, Antonio. So, yeah. So, who knows? Maybe we'll... Uh, Didn't even get the San Antonio scratch. That's true. Or the or the uh, barbecue. <laughs> or anything remarkably about food there at all. Yeah, I gotta admit, San Antonio food, pretty fucking disappointing. Um, now, hold on. Hold on. Before all of you assholes show up outside of my house like fucking out the Bride of Frankenstein or whatever that was. Both of you. The uh, three of you with your pitches, pitches and, and ditches. I think we could take them, dog. Um, we didn't eat what you're supposed to eat in San Antonio. Oh no, no. that's this. That's that's the reality. I want to make sure that San Antonio, as a city, knows that we did not. What do- did you eat there? <clears throat> do I even want to know? Uh, we had ramen. Oh. oh. Oh, now he's going to fucking ditch. God damn it. Like uh, like co-op ramen. It I think was, that's the best way I can explain it. it co-op was, uh, ramen. Yeah. It, it was uh it was it was dog shit. It oh, was well, terrible. But really but sad. now it, but it was a place it's like yeah, well we uh we we put x number of dollars out in the community. We we support charities and blah 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 and so everything we make because there's a guy okay, and his that's wife, fine, and they, but it still shouldn't be dog shit. I know, but it was they, the fucking ramen noodles were spaghetti noodles. <gasps> yes, yes. Um, as a guy ramen who noodle, just ra- ramen as a guy who ramen makes ramen. his own fucking noodle broth on a regular basis around here of some kind or variety, theirs was chicken stock. Oh no! It was maybe the worst. Yeah, you know what. I'm going to go out on a limb and say it was the worst culinary experience in public that I have had since I went to a sizzler in California. Oh, wow. That's, wow. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's that's what it do is. Do sizzlers even exist anymore? If they do, hopefully only in California, right? <laughs> well, that can be a hope. We can hope for peace, world peace, and uh, no sizzlers outside Don't of California. Don't be hating on sizzler shit. Fucking... Well, y'all hate all you can eat food. Used to be, used to be at eight ninety nine, yes. and then it became a ten ninety nine. You I don't all know you what it is. because it cannot be honed into a beautiful masterpiece if you're just trying to shuck out a huge, massive amount of food. I will tell you a beautiful masterpiece. I will tell Though you, I mother will tell shuckers. You, I, I like think. Golden Corral's ice cream like <sighs> spread. That was my favorite thing as a Have kid. Have you enjoyed their chocolate fountain? I don't. Oh, eh. yeah. Chocolate, you chocolate know, fountains are uh, that's that's appealing. I do like them, but it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm I'm bullshitting me, you. Who the fuck? Lady? Who cares take about me a to chocolate fountain? A uh, what is that place called? The fondue place. The cute little. I don't know. Cheesecake factory. No. No. Melting pot. I don't know. Yes, I've still never been to one, but it's apparently. I've never been to a fondue joint. And fondue, and that includes of the cheese and chocolate varieties. So. Damn. Yeah, no, I haven't been to a fondue joint either. I actually thought about buying a fondue set, and I thought that'd be cool, except it was like 80 bucks. Yeah, it's too expensive. And we would get two uses out of it, probably. Yeah, it's not Maybe. worth it. Maybe. It's not worth it. Probably one. I know us. <laughs> I don't know how we operate here. I am, however, going to get us a big goddamn cooler. We'll just for stick the, with the uh, case so it's easier that way. For the summer months, we're getting ready to have like one of those heavy-ass, fucking crazy-ass redneck coolers. Hell yeah. You know, it holds ice for days and days and days. Yeah, that's as a, as you should. Invest yeah. in one of those bitches. They last forever. It actually is an investment if you, like, I don't know, burn through, like, three bags of ice a weekend like yep. I used to do. 100%. It'll keep the body parts nice and cool. 
Indeed. Yeah, yeah. You decide uh, that your mother-in-law has uh, mm. been, a, been an issue. It's time to go. For your mother. Mother, right? What's the basis of Psycho? Uh, it was, it was, yeah, his, it was mom. his mom. It was his, it was his mama pet. Miss Bates. Did he kill her and then bury her I and then he she, heard? I think she just died. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, because she was like she mummified was, and shit. Yeah. Right? yeah, she was in the chair. She was hanging out in the uh, in the attic area. He had right? some weird fixation, and then uh, there's Come. some interesting spinoff show about it when he was a kid that like shows how that whole relationship developed. So okay, so quick, quick uh, shooting from the hip question: scariest horror movie you can recall? At the time for me, the ring literally gave me nightmares. I thought you would when probably, I was like thir- yeah. I was like thirteen or fourteen. Saw it in the theater. It, I mean, I that's an impress that, it that kept that's, me that's an impressionable up. age. It kept me up. It, yeah, I was fourteen. I think I was a freshman. Children of the Corn yeah. for me. Okay. I think I was like thirteen or fourteen. See, no, I watched I that. I thought I found that to be a very fascinating movie, but I wasn't scared. I was kind of scared the hell out of me. It's like all these I like fucking children weird. my age are all fucking possessed by the right. devil, right? Like, goddamn, that's not what I want. And then, like two years later, it's like. So you inhale my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think going to singing Grim Reaper songs. <laughs> Damn, man. I'm, you know. I'm, Nothing has ever scared you? No, no. Fuck that. I'm just having to go back yeah, a really like, long really ways because I'm so fucking desensitized. Yeah. What, what scared yeah, the piss that. out of you at 12 or 13? Because, see, honestly, even American Werewolf in London kind of fucking scared me a little bit at the time. Even yeah. though, like, looking back at it now, like, there are scenes I laugh my fucking dick off what at. Made, what made that creepy was how the horrifying moments were casual. Yeah. Like when he was talking to the ghost of his right. buddy and the whole side of his so face you, is just you know, maybe destroyed. You know, maybe it's time for you to go ahead and, you know, take take responsibility like for your actions. That, it, <laughs> that is an underrated fucking... Nah, not underrated. I think that gets all the respect deserved. But it is one of the best ones. Yeah. I, you know, I, the, if you like legit nightmares, fucking nightmare on, Air, on Elm Street when I was like okay. six years old. God damn, six? I, man, my parents didn't give a fuck. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that, that would give anyone nightmares at six for sure. I, it fucked me up shit. for a couple weeks. That's not fucked up. Good shit. Lord, that's fucking crazy. And it, and it was the second one. <laughs> which had the the gay undertones in it. It probably showed me the first one was three, but I don't remember. Jesus. No, no, I would have remembered that one because that one would have been far more terrifying. This one was really terrifying. Yeah, the second one was... I thought they started kind of like really making light of things about the third one. So it was the, the second third, one. Though. The third one was like what people would say the last great one. Yeah. But... uh as far as being scary, yeah, the third one's probably the last one that even had a remote sense of that in it. No. Second one was really fucking scary. The first one I didn't see until, shit, uh, at least was 11. Okay. okay. You know what? The most recent one, I guess, I think someone did, a, I think it's Night of the Living Dead remake. And it oh, yeah, pretty, that's a good one. It was a pretty yeah. good. It was pretty good. There's one that'll catch you a little bit weird because you think it's a thriller, but it's actually a horror movie, and that's uh, What Lies Beneath. Yeah, I like that one. I, I, lo- that's Harrison Ford, right? Yeah, yeah. Harrison that Ford and Michelle Pfeiffer. I saw that one when I was also quite young, and I love that movie. Yeah. I love it. I have, a, I have a crush on Harrison Ford. I think it started she's with a, Star Wars. Was, was she <laughs> saying this? Like, I think yeah. she's on to us. Who? Your wife. <laughs> of course, she sounded way hotter when she said it. You didn't want to right. sound like me. I mean, that's going to be creepy regardless. Your wife. I'm never listening to this episode back again. <laughs> yeah, I just I'm going to go fucking put this on my vehicle and just drive through town. <laughs> Is it about time for us to make picks? Or No, no, we got MMA. Yeah, still. MMA. Uh, y'all got to talk we do, about it. We do have MMA. There's only one thing I give two shits about on the MMA side of it. Well, two things, maybe. Uh, but one is that Kevin Holland is a fucking hero. Dude, no shit, bro. Dude's he, he's a fighter out of Houston or the Houston area. You know, Houston's got issues, right? And if you're a, a, a fighter of color, then you're going to deal with some things and be in neighborhoods that are less than savory. But a dude came into a restaurant, right? Uh, it, or was, it was a convenience store. Let's see. It was uh, a convenience store. It was a convenience store. Dude comes into a convenience store. No, it was store. a restaurant. It was a restaurant. It was a restaurant. Yeah. With a gun. Sushi you know, joint. 
trying to hold the place up or whatever. And Kevin Holland was there, and he was there with like a friend of his. A few of his buddies, like two guys. Yeah, but but one of his friends was like was kind of down, like being able to grab people the right way too. You know, you're talking about MMA fucking fighters, you know, and some asshole, and they're just to rob the place. Fuck that. Because so Kevin Holland's friend jumps up, grabs the guy, and Holland jumps up, and then isolates his arm. And then his friend was able to fucking get the gun out of his hand. Holy shit! That's and then awesome. and then Kevin Holland takes him down on a fucking sub move yeah. and fucking holds him there until the cops show up. That's awesome! How fantastic! Yeah, that's pretty sexy, actually. I'm like, and huh. Kevin Holland's like, so all of you, if you think that his uh, submission game is dog shit, <laughs> you can go fuck yourself because there's a guy <laughs> in the fucking Houston fucking Central that says otherwise. That, and that, and this guy, when they identified him, he's 24 years old, had a warrant for failing to appear on a criminal mischief charge and also had uh, some sweet, sweet narcotica on him. Yum, yum. Uh, but it, even before that, fucking uh, five months ago, Saginaw, Texas, that is when fucking he helped with that car thieving shit. You know how Steven Seagal used to run around telling everybody he was like, like with like law enforcement or whatever? I think yeah. Kevin Holland might be. <laughs> I think that's the yeah. right guy. That's the right guy. I mean, if that's the definition of vigilante justice, I'm all right with it. Because Kevin Holland, Derek Lewis, they're getting work done. Give that man a badge. Give him a Texas Ranger badge. That's right. Give him a you know, the Walker one. The yeah. Walker. Walker. <laughs> the Texas Ranger one. Feel free to go out and kick people in the mouth, you know, whenever they need it. <sighs> all right. I'm just going to do a quick rundown of some shits that have been popping up on the internet for Good man. MMA. Good man. Uh, apparently UFC offered Jake Paul a contract. Oh, no. He's catching ew, buzz. Buzz. Ew, buzz ew, is, ew, yeah. ew, 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 Nobody yeah. wants it, but it's Buzz. Why? Because he oh, has a bunch of children no. that follow him. And oh. Want to see him take down Dana White? <laughs> I don't get it. I only know about this dude because I follow a, a guy who does news named Philip DeFranco who really talks a lot about him because he... You know, whatever. He's an original content creator. I I, I always but get yeah, him confused like, with his brother. I don't know. No, they're, I can't keep him apart. It doesn't matter. They're both gross, and I don't like they're them. They're both real privileged white dudes. Yeah, I that, don't like it. I don't you know, care. It's like, yeah, I'm glad your folks had a lot of money to make yeah. you fucking be able to be successful. Must be nice. A teenager, Wee. you know, and, you know, hey, whatever. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. I'm just going to grind and li- live life and enjoy it, but you, you do what you think is work. Ty Tuivasa says that uh, Greg Hardy, his next job should be working at Bloody McDonald's. Greg Greg Hardy's a problem because Greg Hardy was uh, he's a guy he was he was with the Dallas Cowboys. You know he was like a fucking D line guy I think, but um, maybe linebacker. But fucking uh, yeah, he he had too many domestics fucking kind of rolling up, and that's why oh he's boy. not that's why he's not in the league anymore. Oh come you know? on. So he goes to MMA and Dana White never to turn down a fucking first. Are of all, you kidding me? An NFL player and number That's two, so gross. And number two, a guy that might draw, you know, that fucking conclave of fans at about thirty percent of fucking weird white American males under the age of twenty-seven or so that might tune in to watch Greg Hardy beat up a man for a change, right? Gross. Which he did half the time. In. Hope less than that. Less than Let's half. hope that whomever he faces flips it on him. Because that's he's been, getting, he's been getting his ass beat pretty regularly. Just this justice that these I days. really enjoy. That makes he, me feel really nice. Greg Hardy's last fight with the UFC was his last one. Yeah, he doesn't have a job anymore. Oh shit. He doesn't have a place to fight. Okay. Well. Which makes it even more important if somebody's wanting to still kick the shit out of him. Even without him actually being in an organization, because that means they want to kick a sh- kick the shit out of the man, right? Not the monster, Rose well, Nami- or to kick the shit out of the monster, not the man. Not the man. With him, with him, it's the same. Right? It's brilliant enough. Usually, it is. Rose Nam Yunus, Carlos Sparza fighting at two seventy four. Of course, they are. Well, what else you gonna do down there, man? Fucking you know, had a third one loss. <laughs> Anyway. It, it's the only one. It's just like 125. It's the only fight that makes sense. And, I mean, there, Valentina has, a, I think, a potential opponent announced. I don't even know who the fuck she is. I got to say this, too. And, people, if you're on fucking Valentina Shevchenko's fucking socials and you're wanting to comment about how she needs to make a statement against Russia, look, 
Putin is doing. He's trying to put the band back together. He's trying to put the fucking Soviet Union back together. No, oh, she shouldn't say shit. No, if she wants nothing, to live. Nothing. Are you fucking kidding me? That's it. That's exactly right. Sorry. That's exactly. I don't blame her. I respect anyone who steps out into the Russian streets and speaks against Putin, but they're asking to die. She's in Kyrgyzstan, so, I mean... <laughs> That's that would be the next she one. She has a huge platform, so Putin would come after her. Exactly. So, <sighs> would you fucking lay off a sister? Yeah, you gotta <laughs> leave people alone, man. Like, come like the I'm fuck not on. Invol- I'm like, not involved. I'm not involved in that. Dang, have some fucking empathy. Like, holy shit. Go bother like, Khabib. Oh, I want you to go ahead and call Putin out. No. Yeah, yeah, do that. That's yeah. a great idea. Well, I'll call him out. Sign yours I'll and call, your I'll, family's. I'll call desk. him. I'll call him out from the safety See, of that's scary. fucking Eastern New Mexico. Yeah, bring course. it, you fucking dullard it, whore. Yeah. Yeah, but dang, her Put a shirt too. on when you go Where's out her riding. Family at? Cover your tits Putin when will you're go hunting. After her family. Yeah. So she, like she trains in Chile for basically most of her fights, but that's the thing though is that she's been in Kyrgyzstan since like November. Yes. I don't blame her. I wouldn't I wouldn't do it either. No, you got you have to think about the bigger picture sometimes. You really do. That's right. Uh what else do you have, sir? Uh actually we should probably wrap it up. Okay. Well, let's move to the fucking picks. Drinking. Oh. I am going bullet rye all night. All night. All day. All Every night. Day. All, well, clearly all day. I'm keeping it <laughs> casual, keeping it classy. Probably doing some dabs later as well. Oh, Ooh, shit. yeah. That's right. That's right. I brought Chris, the apparatus. Oh, yeah. Are you, are you throwing back a few beverages or? Um, well, I had this really lovely wine spritzer that I made at home. Ooh, right that on. you made? Yeah. Oh, like a mimosa? Well, no. So a spritzer, at least I don't know if this is a definition. It's just what I call a spritzer has some sort of sparkly in it. So it was wine and bubbly and uh, some control because I needed to sweeten up the red wine a little bit. Weird wow. quick, quick story on this is because <laughs> when I was in high school, wine, uh, wine coolers were the were the fucking thing. But oh, yeah. nobody knew how to do them. There are all these fucking vineyards with like excess wine. They didn't know what to do with. So they basically turned it over to Seagram's and Sun Country and a few other fucking brands. And let them make a million like, dollars. Figure out how to yeah. fucking do, do something, something with, this. with this shit. And so they would take full scale wine, fucking carbonate it. Put it in two liter bottles, except Bartles and James. They went little eight ounces. That's okay. Right. You know, be be who you are. Boone's Farm kept it classy. Yeah, and honestly, kept it this was Boone's Farm with carbonation. Let's be real. Well, uh, yeah, that's but how that's but that but that's that's the thing, and that that was the jam. I would get a two liter bottle because sixteen whatever. I'd get a friend of mine to buy me a two liter bottle of fucking wine. It's coolers. like a gallon of, of wine cooler. Oh well, no! It's a but it was a two liter. Sixty four two liter. That's like sixty four ounces. Yeah, and a gallon's one hundred twenty eight. So I mean, oh god, damn. so is it? But it was a half a gallon. I've been in school in twenty years. It's a half okay. a gallon of wine. A half a gallon of wine on a sixteen year old's belly. Oh god, who Poor baby. just what just got done eating a fucking number two from oh, Whataburger while ago? Threw oh, all sir. that up. You had your red wine experience. Yeah, and then the next weekend, oh. and it was well, but I mean, but that was it. But that every weekend we'd go over and shoot fucking bumper pool in his garage, drink two liter bottles oh. of goddamn wine coolers, and uh, and uh, up Chuck in his yard. God damn, I was fucking playing Sega CD and watching pro wrestling. Oh, no, I started drinking at 14. I feel you, man. 14, I was doing yeah. all kinds of fucked up shit. I like to blame my brother, Daryl. No uh, fucking story there. So anyway, but... I uh, blame well, trauma. Brought see, I was, trauma. I was smart. I waited till my late 20s to get all my vices in my body. <laughs> Y'all got started way too early. That's why you got to be worried about, oh, I got to live healthy. I, I started I started when my body I'm sorry, was you fully formed. Are you worried about living healthy? Yeah, us too. Really? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, you Far know. Far out, man. I'm well, I mean, shit. Out, man. You worked out today for fuck's sake. I worked. Uh, yeah, I just worked. And then I just drank a whole bunch of wine. Fuck like. yeah. <laughs> God, I love America. <laughs> All right, we're going to be back in two fucking weeks. And you got that. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I'm drinking beer. I'm oh. listening to the new uh, Crosses shit. And... Uh, the the fucking mountains fighting uh, some British strongman in a oh. boxing match over the weekend. All right, I'm curious to see how the mountain bringing it back, bringing it back, bringing back right. Game of Thrones. Drink yeah. drinks, drinks and things special to you. Drinks Picks. and things. Picks. Oh, I'm listening to some hip hop, so I don't feel like that fits. Ooh, in the vibe that don't matter. Shit, I think you're good. I think you're good. What is it? Uh, 
Well, I don't know. Do y'all y'all know who Megan the Stallion is, right? Uh-huh. I actually I do because of the job I have. I've yeah. been vibing her. Hands a lot. up the <laughs> If you if you Very go go good rendition, Brandon. Thank you. If you, uh, if you go to <laughs> you Snapchat, if you go to a dispensary <laughs> on a regular basis, you're always gonna hear. Like, That's true. Unless and, and machine gun Kelly. I mean, I usually I'm there. No you're gonna MGK be jamming good shit. No, thank you. I'm okay on that. Um, you're gonna be hearing like typo negative or fucking Coulter Wall when I'm in there. Yeah. Uh, but that's lo- I love I typo cl- negative. I, I really wish I had listened to them sooner. <laughs> like it breaks my heart. I didn't listen to them more when I was younger. Did you Did you discover them after the lead singer died? Yeah. Oh, I fuck think so. Oh. That dude died like on my birthday. I feel. Oh gosh. Yeah, we're yeah. about to celebrate that. Yeah. Also, uh, that's when the Titanic you know sunk. That's when Lincoln got shot. That's okay. That's when, uh, uh, no, there's a bunch of bad shit. Welcome shits. to birth and, and death, death my me. guy. That's the saving grace. All I have is that Vern <laughs> Troy was born on the day I was. <laughs> I don't know anything about my birthday except that my mother and I share it. So, uh, well, okay. well, we'll we'll uh, shut down this podcast and then we'll find out what happened on your birthday. I, I speak of birthdays. I do want to say a very happy birthday to Jerry Cantrell, who was like probably the biggest Fuck fucking it. influence in my guitar playing ability. And that dude, fucking like fifty six years of age today, fucking rock that shit, Jerry. God damn it. See y'all in two weeks. Two weeks.